judge rejects form over substance pet cremations argument. Plans to set up a pet crematorium in Ashurst have survived an attempt to have resource consents overturned on a technicality. Soul Friend Pet Cremations was granted consents in November for the cremation and pet bereavement facility to be set up in Mulgrove Street after a commissioner's hearing. However, submitters against the application, Isabel and Bevan Curry, have appealed the decision granting consents. They said the application should have been made by Tolly Farm Limited, which owns the property, not under the Soul Friend trading name. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Environment Court Judge Brian Dwyer rejected the part of the appeal that challenged whether the applicant had used the correct name on the forms and ordered mediation between the parties or other aspects of the appeal. He said determining the application to be void because the wrong company name was used on the application form would be a significant triumph of form over substance. He agreed it had been quite clear through the process who the applicant was. It was transparent that it was an application by Tolly Farm Limited, but the company's agent had incorrectly used the trading name on the application form. The incorrect statement contained in the application to the council as to the identity of the applicant could be fixed, he said. Sole friend owner Simone Morrison already runs a large pet cremation service from a site at the Massey University campus. Soul Friend Pet Cremation Service offers a range of urns for storing pets' ashes. The service handles about 800 pet cremations a month for veterinary surgeries and customers around the Lower North Island and makes a range of urns and memorials for bereaved pet owners. The proposal was to set up with new cremators, workshops, a chapel or quiet room and a memorial garden at Mulgrove Street on the outskirts of the Ashurst Village at a property previously used for boarding kennels in a cattery. The operation needs to move from its site at Tenant Drive when its lease expires this year, and Morrison said it needed a larger space for its staff. The Mulgrove Street property was four hectares in size and had been used for 18 years as a cattery with boarding kennels. That business closed permanently after the COVID-19 lockdowns curtailed demand for the service. The original submission from the Currys objected on the grounds that it would be an undesirable activity so close to properties that were being rezoned for residential development.